Hey, it is Max here, and in this tutorial, you will learn how to use the ManyChat pixel to trigger conversion events in ManyChat. And by doing that, you can unlock quite some cool possibilities. So let's just dive right in, and then I'll show you what it is, how you can use it, and I'll also show you some cool use cases. So first of all, what is the ManyChat pixel? So it's basically a little script that you add to your website and then ManyChat can track which subscribers are which visitors on your website. It can basically link them together. And then if you add another script to certain elements on your website, you can trigger conversion events when someone, for example, clicks a specific button or a specific link or completes a purchase. Or my favorite use case is when someone visits a certain page. And then based on those events, you can trigger automation rules that, for example, start flows or add tags. And I think that's really crazy cool because imagine that when someone visits one of your sales pages, then right at that moment, you send them a message in Messenger asking them if they maybe have any questions about that certain product. Now, how do you set that up? So how can you use the pixel? So the first thing that you have to do is you have to authorize your websites. So you have to go over to your settings and then to your growth tools. And then in here, you simply add the websites that you want to do this for. Then the next thing that you have to do is you have to install the pixel script on those websites. So you go over to automation, to pixel, and then you copy your pixel here. And it's maybe important to mention that this is the same script as that you maybe also use for your growth tools. So if you also already installed a script to make your growth tools work on your website, then you do not have to do this again. So you would copy this and then we have to add it to the head of our website. And it depends a bit on how you build your website, how you do that. But if you use WordPress, then you can use a really easy plugin called Insert Headers and Footers. It's a free plugin, super simple, just looks like this. You would paste it in here into the heading section and then you click save. And then from now on, the ManyChat pixel will load on every page on your website. Now, then the next thing that we have to do is we have to create some conversion events. So go over to settings and then to conversion events. And then you see that I already created a bunch of different conversion events. So I like to name them like this or structure the names like this. So I would say here, visit sales page and then the, the product of the sales page that they visited. And here you'll see sale, sale, purchase, and then which product they purchased. So to create these, you just click this blue button and then you give an event title. And if you also want to add a money event to this so that this event is generating revenue, then you can enable this and then you can choose in which currency you want to do that. I will show you that later on how that works, but you would just do that and you click create and then you have your conversion event. And then we have to trigger those events that we just created. So you have two different events. You have a conversion event and you have a money event. So a money event, the way I see it is basically conversion event where you want to add a value to that conversion event. So you want to give it a name. So you can give both of these a name. So here you want to add the name of the conversion event that you created. And then if you use the money event, you also want to add the value of that money event. So this is $10 and 70 cents. You see here that the currency is US dollars. So if you want to change this to Euro, you would type er, but I will leave it to USD for now. And yeah, this is a bit taggy, but then you have to add this to specific elements on your website. And I created a little document. I will also link to this document in the description below so that you can just yeah, download this and change this to your own needs and put it on your website. But for example, if you want to trigger um, yeah, basically the conversion event when someone visits a specific page, you have to use a script that looks like this. And a little disclaimer, I'm not a programmer. Maybe there are better ways to do this. But for me, this has been working great. So I'm using body and then unload. So that basically means that this conversion event will be triggered at the moment when the page is done loading. And then we trigger in this example, visit, check out, manage at skills. So that's what you do for page visits. For a money event based on a page visit, you basically use the same. So we have body, 
on load and then you see here money event then the name of the event so i would call this sale purchase managed skills and then the product is 100 us dollars so i trigger this when someone visits a page because i'm not a programmer i don't know exactly how to work this into my checkout software but maybe there's a better way that you can dynamically populate all these values now, if you want to trigger a button click on your website, could also be really cool. Then you use your button HTML script and you add an element to that button. So you add on click and then window.mc pixel fire lock conversion event, that whole text. And then the, yeah, the conversion event that you want to trigger. And it's maybe also important to know or not important, maybe just handy, is that you do not have to create your conversion events up front, like I like to do that, but it's not absolutely necessary if you do not create them and then you edit them here, then ManyChat will automatically add these to your conversion events page. Now, link clicks also work pretty similar. So you have your hey, hey, hrefs, I'm not sure how you say that in English, and then you would add on click. So the moment that someone clicks that link, then you say window dot mc pixel blah 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 conversion event and then you give it a name so i would call it something like link click name here so if you want to trigger a page visit you use on load and when you want to click or track a certain click then you use on click so if i would want to track the page visit i would just copy this and then i would add it to my page depends on how you build your websites but i'm doing that with the WP Bakery page builder. I find that very easy to use. And then I would just paste that script in here. I would click save, I would update my page. And then from now on, this conversion event will be triggered every single time someone visits this example page. Now there are some yeah, things that you have to keep in mind that I think are important to mention in this video is that ManyChat will also add an MCP token to your URLs to know who's who. And because of that, it's important that you yeah, basically send people to your website because the tracking will only start as soon as someone clicked one of these links with that MCP token in it. So let me go over to a flow that I created to show you how that actually works. So we have here, manage a pixel, button to website, edit, and then I'll preview this. And then you see here, it just looks like a normal link. Also in here, you can see it's a link to my about me page. I did not add anything here. And then when I click this button, we go over to my website and then you see here about me. And then you see here that that MCP token is added. So because of that, your URL looks a bit strange, not really another way around that. But this way, ManyChat can connect the ManyChat pixel with the subscriber basically. And I think they save something like a cookie in your browser because then the tracking will work for 28 days, regardless of where they came from. So even if next time they visit your website from Google, the manager will still know this is that subscriber. So when they click a certain link or a certain button or visit it, a certain page on your website, then ManyChat is able to track which subscriber did that. So. Again, they will add the MCP token to your URLs. So it's important to keep in mind the tracking will only start working as soon as you send some visitors to your website. Now, some cool use cases for this. So the first thing that you can do is maybe not super exciting, but you can use it to track events for your analytics. So you can, for example, track how many subscribers purchase a certain product, abandon the cart for a specific product, uh, visited an important page on your website or maybe even submitted a form on your website. So again, these examples are just some examples that I'm using, but you can probably use this for all kinds of things, maybe even video plays or yeah, whether just so submitted a form or I don't know, whatever else. There's probably lots of cool different things that you can do with it. So to look up those analytics, you have to go over to your dashboard and then over to your metrics. And then over here, if you go down here, you will see your conversion events. So here, for example, we have now have visit, checkout page, manage its skills. And then you see that I just did some testing. So that happened three times. That conversion event was triggered three times. So it's maybe just handy to see what is happening in the funnel that you created. And if you also create a money event, and this is basically my next step, tracking purchases, 
then you can also see how much revenue you generated with your bot list. So then here you see your overall earnings per day and also some other variables that you can just here switch between sales, buyers, APC, and then here's a little explanation of what that is. So I think that's also pretty cool. It's pretty handy if you want to do that. I do that in my checkout software itself, but if it's really important for you to know um, how many subscribers actually purchase something and maybe not people on your email list, then this is really handy. Now then the next thing is page tracking. And I think this is maybe my favorite use case so that you can see who visits a certain page and then trigger a flow based on that. So you would trigger a conversion event when someone visits a page by using this right on load conversion event and then here for example visit check out manage skills and what i think is really cool is that you can trigger rules based on conversion events so when you go over to rules you see here that i already created something so here for example I have a conversion event called visit sales page manage skills so as soon as this conversion event triggers, and manage it obviously know for who, which subscriber that is, then this rule will trigger for that subscriber. And then we start a flow. So in this flow, I basically ask people, hey, do you have any questions about manager skills? Let me know. And before I do that, I first check, okay, can I send this message? Is this still within the messaging window? If not, you could maybe also send an email instead. And then if I send this message, what I think is important is that you also add a tag that you send this message. So here has been sent any questions about managed skills. Because if you do that, you can here um, set that only when this happens, when someone does not have this tag. So because of that, it will not trigger every single time when someone is going to visit this page. It will only trigger when someone visits a page and this message has not been sent inside this flow. So if this has been sent, this tag will be added and then this rule will not trigger. Now then the next use case is a simple abandoned cart. So this is probably cool if you have digital products with not so many different URLs and that you can also create different success pages for each product. So for example, I just showed you managed skills. I have a different uh, checkout success page for that basically. So because of that, I can also use the page visit and then a conversion event for that. So when someone visits that page, I can trigger a conversion event. So that works like this. What you wanna do is you're gonna go over to your rules and create an abandoned card rule. So here I have a conversion event called visit checkout manage at skills. So when someone visits this page, but does not have this tag that will be added in this flow, then this flow will be sent. Now this flow looks like this. We'll edit it and I'm gonna zoom in a bit. So first we wait for 30 minutes so that we actually give the yeah, visitor slash subscriber some time to check out. You do not wanna send this message right away. And then we check if that person did not already purchase my product and that they also did not has been sent this um, this message because when we send this message we also add this tag because it can happen that someone triggers that conversion event multiple times within the 30 minutes so it's important to check here in this condition and in the rule to check if someone does not have this tag yet so I hope you follow it I know it's a little bit complicated and then we also check if it's within the 24 hour window. So if it's within the 24 hour window, we can send this message. If not, you can maybe send an email also. And that is basically it. Then one more thing that I have to show you is that how we add this purchase tag. And then for that, you need another rule. So when the conversion event is triggered, visit order confirmed manager skills page or sale purchase manager skills. Then here I have a rule that adds a tag that says sales purchase managed skills. And that's really handy because then N do we know that that, that subscriber purchased my product. So I hope not, I do not have to send this message, but also when I do further promotions, I can exclude everyone who has that tag. Now that was this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit taggy and I'm really not a programmer. So maybe there are better ways to do this, but I just wanted to show how I'm doing it. It has been working really great for me. So let me know in the comments below what you think. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a little thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. The next tutorial is also going to be really cool. It's about lead scoring in ManyChat. So how you can know which of your subscribers are really engaged. So you see it on screen right now. Be sure to watch that and I will see you in the next tutorial.